Hey guys, and welcome back <coughs> to another video. Sagittarius It's an eyelash on my face. There you go. Sagittarius, eyelashes in your eyes the worst, okay? So because it could be something in your eyes, Sagittarius. Something that you feel like something that makes you do a double take like wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute like something that's be make that's making you aware or something that's in your eye causing you to not be able to see but i do feel like it was a double take you see what i'm saying so at first you couldn't see it but you know you see something and you look back like damn is that what i thought i saw yes that's what you saw it's what you saw okay it's what you intuitively into it <laughs> i don't know <laughs> So, God, universe, angels, spirit, guides, and ancestors, please give us some clear and concise messages for the sign of Sagittarius. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? Messages for the Sagittarius people. What do we have for Sagittarius? Messages for the Sagittarius people. Okay. What we got for the Sagittarius? Messages for Sagittarius. Messages do we have for Sagittarius? Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Heart to heart conversations and true love. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. This is a romance of a lifetime, and your love life is being affected by children. Hmm. That just throws me off a little bit. Just give me a second. Let me just go over this. something because in the other the other cards true love there's a child in the background just watching somebody need to watch what they do in front of their children because the children is sitting there picking up or trying to do what the parents is doing see children in the back and this one is just children by itself but it's got the dog it's two dogs she's holding a puppy and then there's a dog dogs are about loyalty See, I feel like somebody needs to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with their child. But I feel like they're so busy wrapped up in true love that they may not be paying attention to the children as much as they should be. The loyalty should be with the children is what I'm getting. The loyalty should be with the children, but somebody's too busy trying to have true love. So I feel like they're not really having the heart-to-heart -heart conversations with their child that they should. But I feel like it's something that they might need to pick up on. There's definitely something going on here with child, with children. Let's see. Why is all this here for Sagittarius, God, Universe, Angels, Spirit, Gods, and Ancestors? Let's first talk about children. Tell me about children. I'm going to clarify this one a little different because I'm a little rubbed by this. Okay, so tell me about children. Why is children affecting love life? Somebody got some disrespectful ass children. And the loyalty is to the children. See, the, the loyalty is to the children. But the child is disrespectful. The child is grown. The child could be holding their own by now. And you're supposed to be off living your life. Mama got to have a life too, is what they said. Somebody's child is grown and disrespectful. Great fortune, mature man, message of concern. See, somebody wants marriage 
but they're concerned about them damn children and that badass health that the children be putting you in. You be stressing out about your children or your child because the motherfucker's hard-headed, disrespectful, and you your loyalty is with the child when it should be no offense because you always should have loyalty to your children when they grown and don't want to do what, don't want to listen, don't want to do none of that. It might be a different story. My kids ain't grown yet, so I really don't know, but that's how parents be saying, you grown and out of my house. I don't, uh-uh, so you're not going to disrespect me. So I feel like somebody's got a man that really cares about them, but he's concerned about how your children are stressing you. And for some of you, you too concerned about love when you need to be concerned about your children. There's something going on with that. That's for somebody, okay? But your children are affecting them. Your your children are affect. Your love life is being affected by children. It's about the lovers. The lovers is about a choice. It's also a connection, okay? Expectation is about waiting, looking, wondering. And the journey is about taking a, going on a journey, to traveling, taking, you know, exploring in life. Could be in love, could be with yourself, could be in finances, okay? But I do feel like somebody's waiting on a journey here. They're waiting on you to make some type of decision. But your children, I need to get a little more clarification on that. Give me one card here or two. Give me some cards here about this pal. Children affecting the love life. Yep, that's what it is. Your children are stressing you the fuck out. Nine of Wands, giving you burdens. Stressing you out, giving you anxiety. And this Emperor here, possibly the King of Pentacles, is feeling sorry for you. They feel sad for you because they know that you're stressed out. And they just want to make you happy. And they need, they're trying to bring in some balance. But damn, somebody got some badass kids. What the fuck are these kids doing? Knock them the fuck out. I'm just saying. And then we got the Emperor. Somebody could be stressed because they, they ain't getting no help with the kids. And here's the lovers again. See, somebody's got a love situation. And here's the queen of wands, Sagittarius. That's possible you for somebody. Here's the love being offered to bring the beginning. And communication about it. Then page of swords, you're thinking about it. The magician, you want to start the death card to the six of wands. Uh some of y'all could be still dealing with your children's dad. Or your children's dad is in the way. Something like that. But some of y'all just, it's the kids, okay? Tell me more about this three-card three, three card situation. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation and true love. Something about this heart-to-heart -heart conversation and true love. Somebody could have a child that somebody doesn't know about. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation and true love. Main female in the message. Mm. Mm. Then we got mature woman right here. A message of concern with the false person. Okay, so I'm getting another story. Somebody's dealing with a person, right? And it's going, it's, you feel like it's true love, okay? It's going pretty good, but there's something going, it's something that you don't, that you feel, but you can't see it. Okay, so I feel like there's somebody, you're going to receive a message here from some type of main woman that's going to let you, that's going to expose what you know, but haven't seen yet. Okay, because I feel like you're the mature woman here and you receive this message of concern about a false person and then it puts you in a situation to make a decision. Okay, so this is somebody, so it's a couple different stories here. You, Some of y'all got children that y'all need to focus on. Some of y'all got children that y'all need to stop focusing on so much because they fucking grown. Some of y'all are about to receive a message from some lady here that's about to expose and blow up the whole thing. Tell me about this message. Justice. It could be about a Libra. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra. We got Aries. Tell me about this message. It linked off and all the cars just start falling off. Okay, so here we go. Ten of Cups. Somebody's going to tell you some type of truth about a, a situation, a love situation. The Knight of Swords reverse. Hmm. But the Knight of Swords reverse is impulsive. Dishonesty. Huh. Tell me about this Knight of Swords reverse. I don't know if you can trust this woman who's coming in to talk. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? I feel like she gonna lie. she gonna lie a little bit herself. She yeah, she's gone. Yeah. So now I do feel like there is a woman though. She is coming and she is wanting to talk. 
She is one inch tall, but the tower reverse. She's trying to avoid the situation. She's trying to only come to you because she wants to avoid something. Tower reverse. She's trying to re avoid a situation. Queen of Cups could be a water sign. She's trying to avoid the situation. Are you going to hurt something? She's going to lie a little bit and make it seem like they're happy and this is that going on and that is going on. But she's really trying to avoid the situation. The truth is, on the bottom of the deck, that the situation is unfolding and somebody's walking away from Three of Pentacles, what is built, the King of Cups. See, the King of Cups is walking away. That's what that is. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. That's a pair. He's walking away. He ain't happy. But there is something that he might not have disclosed to you. So I'm not excusing that. Tell me about the tower reverse. Why is the tower here reverse? The devil. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn. The King of Cups. See, look. The tower reverse. She's obsessed with this King of Cups. And she's trying to avoid this ending. Ten of Swords that she knows is coming because he's retreating. With the third party, which I'm assuming is you for whoever this is. So, but he's retreating and she's trying to come to you. Woman, a woman. Barbara, this is Shirley. Hang the fuck up on Shirley. I don't know what's going on. I'm not, you know, I'm not condoning in this, but I mean, obviously he ain't told you. I'm, you make your decision accordingly, but this man is exiting. She's going to call and say, well, we happy to we this with everything else, which that's not the case because if they were so happy, he wouldn't be leaving. Okay. Um, Damn, all these men are standing up. What's going on out here? I love it. Okay, good for y'all. Kudos. Because y'all know men be the main ones sitting in the situation, especially when they faithful. They be the main ones sitting in the situation trying to make it work, trying to make it work, trying to make it work. It's a burden like a motherfucker, but they still trying to make it work because they don't want it to fail. That's how men be a lot of them. Okay, so let's talk about the rest of this. Let's talk about, um, what did we talk about at all? I think we did. But it's a lot going on here in Sagittarius land, okay? But this woman's trying to avoid an ending. And if that's you, you're going to be reaching out to some woman trying to avoid an ending with your king of cups or your king of whoever, the person you in love with because the cups really just represent love and emotion, okay? So, but that's what I got for you, Sagittarius. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And watch an ad if you're feeling real good, okay? Have a blessed day. Namaste.